Eric, thanks for joining us. We appreciate your time. Let me start with uh, Jerry Jones with 18-game regular season. Not the first time we've heard this, but how does the NFL Players Association react to this? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, and thanks for having me on, Dan. Yeah, it's definitely not the uh, the first time we've heard this, and I, I don't think our positions change. I, I don't have any guys coming up to me saying, you know, Eric, hey, can you really can you really make more games happen for us? You know, we just don't. We're not playing enough right now. So um, that, that's the way I look at it. You know, the, the guys don't see the the positive trade off. The guys don't see it as as something that is. Uh, good for their careers, good for their bodies, you know, et cetera. I, so much has been already written on it and, and, and uh, said about it. Uh, I, don't, I don't see, and I, and I haven't heard anything that, sh- that changes that. Well, I guess I'm wondering if you have a lot of these players who are role players, secondary players, if they know that they can make $500,000 extra with these two games, uh, you know, wouldn't they? Wouldn't the majority of players want to sign up? Where your marquee players probably wouldn't want to add two more games to the regular season. Yeah, but that's not in actuality what would happen. Hey, eh? there there wouldn't be that much more money uh, to be spread around. Uh, that w- that would increase every player's by five hundred thousand on average. And then two, you know, that money would go into the cap. And and as you know, and as we know that cap is going to get tilted heavily towards the star players. So, okay. you know, some of your star players would, would make more, but your role players um, in my, in my view and, and the way I've looked at it and everything I've read and the people that I've talked about, even with GMs on how that money could be spread, uh, wouldn't go to your role players, wouldn't go to your guys, uh, your middle of the road guys that you're talking about. Jerry Jones also said that there was data that backed up his claim that there's more concussions, an uptick in concussions during the preseason as opposed to the regular season. Have you seen this data? Say that again. Jerry Jones talked about that. And I, I, do we have the exact wording on that, McLovin, just to be fair to Jerry Jones? Yeah, he said there's a study if they eliminate two preseason games and add two regular season games, it will actually add to the health because there are more injuries during preseason. Uh, Seton, do you have the sound so I can play it for Eric? Here's uh, Jerry Jones. My solution is real simple. is cut back on preseason games, have one at each team's home, play a couple of them, and then you need to add two games to the regular season, which I've been a proponent of for several years. It's probably physically better for players than it is to have the longer preseason, the longer practicing. Our studies show that uh, we actually have a ramped-up injury situation with players during preseason. Have you seen this data? Yeah, so you got you got lies, damn lies, and statistics, right? Uh, uh, you know, listen, I, I, what he's referring to, I believe, and this is the, the this is the data I've seen is what he's referring to is a heightened um, concussion rate or a heightened injury rate in the preseason because you have. 90 guys on a roster in the preseason, some of them which are they're the, the first time in their NFL uh, life. They don't know what they're doing. Obviously, indecision leads to injury. And then in the regular season, you have practices in which you only hit once a week. During this season right now, you're hitting six times a week. So, of course, you could say, oh, well, there's more injury rate. There's, an in, there's a greater injury occurrence in the preseason than there is in the regular season. But we all know that's not really how you would read the data if you were – sort of being honest about it let's face it and and how and how that ends up shaking out so i mean let's just look at it from a common sense standpoint does does anybody think playing more get two more games is safer for players no yeah. so, so 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 to act like playing two more games is safer for players is is just to me a, a pretty silly comment for more dan patrick show tune to audience channel 239 on direct tv or download the dan patrick show app